Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Ian's Guardian Thor and I am going to show you how to increase Ireland renown or Dublin renown. So we have these trade posts here. Um, these are already completed by me. You see I have 100% um, in Dublin, Ulster, Connacht, and Meath, right? So Nazar is our overseas trader, and this is where she's located. She's located in Dublin. So increase Dublin renown. She's in Dublin, right? What we have to do is to get these resources, as you see that um, I'm maxed out already, in order to um, complete these, uh, get these resources, we need to make what is called trade outposts. Then the trade outposts consist of three um, buildings, the supply depot, the storehouse, and the workman's cottage. And it's the same throughout. So this there's one in Listoro, and they're always by these um, King's Pleas. So if uh, you play the story, you, you'll figure out what that is. But it looks like a little birdhouse, right? All right, so we have one in Lisdoro. And that is... And then one in, in um, <clears throat> Drumlish. So Raider Tent, Storehouse, Workman Cottage. So they vary a little bit. And each place that you... Um, completely build will give you a different uh, exotic item. So right here you see in Drumlish you were getting plus two clothing per minute. And here uh, in Lisdoro we're getting plus two uh, exotic per, per minute or text, text per minute. I think that's what that one is. So, okay. So we have one in Lidstoro and one in Drumlish for Meath. In Dublin, we have one in Rathdown, plus two clothing per minute. And that is the only one here for Dublin. Okay. Next one is for Connacht in Athlone. And it's going to be Delicacies. I think that's Delicacies. You're going to get plus two delicacies per minute. And we have one more in Connacht at the at Port Ollie. Or is this one delicacies? Anyway, the, you get plus two um, of this exotic item uh, per minute. All right, so that one's that one. If we go to Ulster, uh, th this is the Desert Outpost right next to the uh, Irrigal Summit. And that is the only one there. And then we have one here, the Ardmel Tray Post, just east of Loaf Bag. So all together, to um, all the trade posts is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe I counted that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so there's seven trade outposts. And in order to build these trade outposts, you need supplies, like trade supplies. So usually um, with a raid or some, something, like in, in the abbeys, we'll get um, trade materials, uh, building supplies, just like we did in, um, in England. So we'll get the trade supplies, and that'll count as some of the wealth in the map. And, and uh, completing the story, you'll, you'll find more wealth. And then you can build these uh, supply depots and door storage houses. And then you'll be able to collect the items at the overseas trade chest here. Okay, so now we're at the uh, overseas trade chest. What we're going to do is just loot this chest and you'll see... Um, We'll have different items. Don't really have that many. So what we're going to do is go to the storage house. And I will need to purchase a building. And this is the last uh, building that I needed to purchase for this video. So we're going to go ahead and do that and take a look at what these storage houses look like. And here we are. 
We're at the storage house and in Athlone. And I'm gonna look for one of these building areas. This person desperately wants to work. We're gonna get them then to work right now. And then we have the building materials, which is one, 150 for this. And this is the last storehouse. So this was built. After spending some time uh, perusing around the map or going after uh, wealth, mysteries or artifacts with some time uh, this chest will start filling up so we're gonna go all the way back to Dublin go back to the chest and we're going to collect the materials and then from there then we go to Nazir so once we're, we talk to Nazir we're gonna ask if we can see her stores and then we'll see the different quests or laws for trade so this is the overseas trading log and you see here we have our materials to the left and in these quests we we have what the materials that that the trade wants and then what the what rewards that we'll receive for doing the chest so just kind of burning through these trying, trying to get through this and this is how you increase your dublin renown so you have the storage units they give the materials and I'm just going to scroll down here to see what else I have left and Perhaps once I don't have enough. anything else to, left to trade for a full Always trade a I'll just back out and then when we're done with this transaction this is how the Dublin Renown is increased so um, part of the quest is you have to have Dublin Renown, to, uh, Renown 4 to continue the quest so if you don't get, get the 100%, you have to at least get to uh, Dublin Renown 4, and then we'll receive the Dublin Champion Cloak. And after some time, you know, I, I'm coming back uh, to, to the chest, and we're going to continue the process. So I'm going to loot the chest again after some time, and then I'm going to try to complete the rest of these quests ah, my business if I partner. can here. But uh, we'll see. Many kingdoms desire so I, to I, trade I require for the loot. And we do get to get, get these rewards here. So even completing some of these quests, you can get some, some building materials as well. But we're already at the end game here. I pretty much got, got the uh, trading supplies from doing the, the raids here, which uh, counts as the wealth. And just getting items that, that I found uh, just during the story. So... Continue, uh, continue on with the story is uh, pretty helpful to go acquire well. these building materials. So Another time. I'm going to leave her stores again, and this should put us to Dublin Renown 5. So as you see, you don't need to complete all the requests to get to Dublin Renown 5. And after this, we will receive the Dublin Champion Helmet, Legendary Item. And after what we get to Renown 5, then we'll get a new quest, an eye for an eye. So in order to start this quest, you just talk to Nazir again. Aver, I'm sorry, I did not notice you. Azar, is everything all right? Yes. No, it will be, once that bastard is dead and hanging from my rafters as sausages. I believe I know who this is about. Constantinos has come to Ireland. Yesternight, his ship pulled into the bay. I will deliver you his head. Constantinos is here. Is Man, we have to Eivor, avenge Nazir. Not necessary. He threatens our trade, does he not? I protect my greater interest and provide my partner a service. Very well. But do not deprive me of my revenge. Bring him back to me alive. I look forward to your return. Okay, so... They gave us a clue to where Constantinos is. And... Just gonna read the clue. I'm just gonna imagine it's somewhere... Along this coastline. And it's actually going to be a little bit more south for, for where I marked. So I'm going to show you where that is. So from where I marked, just keep traveling south and you'll see a boat 
Aid me. And be my you see eyes. the boat right there. Seaman is very helpful. And I suspect Constantinos is going to be on that ship. What do you guys think? And this is my legendary mount. I, I like it a lot because I really enjoyed the the Asgard storyline. Going into uh, Valka's hut and then completing the, the two-part arc. It was uh, very great. I really, really enjoyed that. So, And don't worry, I, I have the, the legendary mount will live. I taught him how to swim, so kind of have to go solo for this mission and we're just gonna swim to shore and you see that there's guards of course there's gonna be a couple guards so we're gonna take this guy I out not be seen in this area he saw me so that wasn't the the best uh <laughs> that wasn't the, the best uh way to not get caught but hey that's what's great about Valhalla. It's, um, <clears throat> you, you can go about this game in so many different ways aside from just stealth. You can use just brute force. But we'll avenge our stealthiness right now. So. We're gonna climb up to the ship. And I think Constantinos is right here. And I'm just gonna walk right behind him and assassinate him. Well, almost assassinate him, right? Leave him badly wounded. <laughs> so that that guard, uh, his guards were able to find me pretty quickly. But I mean, I'm able to just walk up to him and do the assassination uh, animation. That's funny. So we're gonna tie him up, and we're gonna carry him out of here. That that is the plan, and uh, carry him back to Nazir. I see there are a couple guards here, so I can have to walk. make some that precision the shots. The one -time part of the to Pretty easy quest line. Again, uh, I, I played Ireland on AC or difficulty, and that's where my difficulty is going to stay. No aim assist on the arrows. And the force hammer for the majority. Actually, since I've since I received Thor's hammer, I've got that the real twice cursed harvest right. would have been long dead. So we're Save gonna your insult for your can't really call them out here, so we gotta take them outside of the city walls and call them out. So we're gonna lift them up, run out here. I have no idea what happened there. Probably some stick drift. <laughs> All right, so we're we're, we're gonna run out out, out of uh, city walls here. Call our mount. See, our mount was safe. He knew how to swim. He was just uh, relaxing back there. We went on a swim. And now we're just going to ride back into town. So we're going to ride back into town. And I'll save you guys the uh, the ride. And here we are. Back to Nazir. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider dropping a like and subscription with notifications on. Careless. We're almost uh, done with my... Eye. Complete Ireland guide. We still have to do sup. wealth, artifacts, and mystery for Heath, and one more bonus item for Ireland. Come on. So, um, Let's I hope these quickly. videos have been helpful or at least enjoyable. Oh, no. Until next no, time, no, no, horns up and skull. This will last a very long time indeed. Why else have I sharpened so many implements? I will unmake you tenfold for what you've done. You make a sorry Cyclops. Damn you to hell! Why hello, Eivor. Azar, what of Constantinos? Hogs feed on his bits. Are you at peace? At peace, no. But the world is a better place. Farewell, Eivor. Ah, 
A visit. Always a pleasure. <laughs>